Ever since F1 was bought out by Liberty Media, their on-screen TV graphics have changed. A lot. Most of these changes are for the better, with the introduction of a permanent timing column and timing widgets. However, many of the on-screen graphics can be confusing, especially for a new viewer. Hello everyone, you're watching Vroom Vroom F1, and this is an in-depth explanation of the F1 on-screen graphics. Damn. The standard view throughout the race looks like this. You have your timing column on the left hand side of the screen, and the live race footage in the middle. Now to dissect this column. On the top we see it says lap, and then a number out of another number. This indicates what lap the race leader is currently on. Below that we have a long list of 20 driver names, a stripe, and a number between 1 and 20. The number shows what race position each driver is in. The stripe indicates the team they are driving for. For instance, yellow is for Renault, red is for Ferrari, and white is for Williams. Each driver's name is abbreviated to keep the column size efficient. On the right side of the column, each driver has a number next to them. The lead driver has the word interval or gap next to them, indicating which type of timing is being displayed. Interval shows each team's gap to the car ahead. For instance, in the 2019 Australian Grand Prix, we see that Hulkenberg is 1.9 seconds behind Magnussen. At some stages in the race, the timing columns switch to gap. This is often used at the beginning of the race because it shows how far behind the leader each car is. Additionally, you will see the phrases in pit and pit exit when the cars are at various stages of the pit lane. Finally, a driver position swap is indicated by the position indicator to the left of the driver's name, turning green as it moves through the field. There are many other, more complicated graphics on screen than just the timing table. Occasionally, you will see icons like this displaying a driver's tire health. These indicators are pretty inaccurate, but nonetheless help to give viewers a better sense of what teams are looking for when they call pit stops. The icon is a top-down view of the car, with each tire being marked a different color. Green tires are healthier, have more grip on the track, and make the car go faster. Orange tires are showing signs of declining, and red tires need to be swapped. This graphic is pretty good at displaying how tires don't wear universally, as one might think, rather depend on the corners of the circuit. Beneath the car, we see the compound of tire the driver is on, with soft being the grippiest but also the quickest to wear, and hard having the least grip but lasting the longest. And we also see how many laps the car has been on a given set. Another common, yet quite confusing graphic is the pit strategy battle indicator. It shows one car trailing another, with a predicted gap time between them. This gap is the gap between the cars that is predicted to emerge if the leading car takes a pit stop. Mind you, a trip to the pit lane costs about 25 seconds, so the graphic is often used for cars that are several turns apart from each other. We also see a percentage on the right hand side showing the percent chance of one car overtaking the other. This percentage is calculated by simulating the rest of the race thousands of times very quickly. These calculations are done by Amazon Web Services, hence why their logo is displayed. These graphics give a view into a further point in the race when pit stop strategies will begin to pay off. Another graphic we see is a car's speed on apex. This one is quite simple. The apex of a corner is the point where a car would be the closest to the inside of it. This graphic uses speedometers to measure how fast a car is traveling when it reaches the apex of any given corner. This graphic is helpful because it highlights when trailing cars have more pace than leading cars, so audiences will anticipate a battle in laps to come. So those were a few common TV graphics that you will see while watching Formula 1. The new season is coming up, and with it a swath of new viewers, so I hope this video is helpful for any potential new viewers to the sport. This brings us to the end of the video. Please subscribe, share, comment, and if you don't like the video, Lance Stroll will become world champion. Now, if you don't mind, I'm gonna vroom vroom out of here.